Uh, welcome to the CED Mosbaugh Electric online video series. Uh, today we're going to cover the Stratix Managed Ethernet Switch Express Setup. There are these three modes to the Express Setup for the Stratix Managed Switches. Uh, the short press mode is what we're going to go through today, uh, where we, with a switch, will assign an IP address to our computer. Uh, the medium press mode would be if you have a DHCP server, or w in this case, or in some cases, we've used boot P. Uh, that's the medium press mode. So if you want to prefer to use the boot P, I, I would rather not. Um, that you can use this uh, method. The long press mode is to reset to factory defaults. So if you needed to reset the switch to factory defaults, you do you forgot what the IP address on it or something like that, I uh, use this. So we're going to go through with this short press mode. So, uh, so the first step that you need to make sure you do before doing the short press mode is to make sure that your computer is set up to receive an IP address automatically. Um, some of you, this is an easy step for you. Some of you that have never done this before, this is how you would do it on a Windows 7 or it's very similar on a Windows 10 machine. So you come down right corner where your connection is. We're going to click there and op open the network sharing center and we're going to go change adapter settings right here on local area connection. We're going to double click on that. Okay. And then the internet protocol version, so your IP version 4. We want to make sure that this is checked. Obtain an IP address automatically, obtain a DNS server automatically. Um, if you have, use the following IP address and some numbers in here uh, from your IT department at your company. You might want to check with them before you do this or at least write down these values so you can put the computer back to the way it was when you want to get on your corporate network. Uh, so now we'll go over to the switch um, and we'll get it in express setup mode. So for our video purposes, we're going to use a, a Stratix 5400 switch. Um, and you see default out of the box when it's been set to default. Um, all these lights are solid. Your EIP module light is flashing. Setup light is off and the net light is off. And all the ports are obviously inactive right now. So what we're going to do for our express setup, we're going to use just a simple paper clip right into this express setup port. We're just going to push it down for a second or two until we see this setup lights start flashing. Okay, there it is. We're going to let go. And what's going to happen is that this port up here, port 1, if you can see that on there, started flashing. So that's telling us we want to plug our computer into port 1. So what it's going to do is it's now going to give our computer uh, an IP address and then we'll be able to go online and configure the switch. Okay, so our, uh, our next step here is over here at our computer. We're going to go ahead and open a browser and we're going to put in the address 169.254.0.1 which is the default address of the switch when you're doing this type of express setup. You're going to get this message, um, just hit advanced and proceed. The default uh, login is no username and password is switch. Now you're going to want to do all this relatively quickly. Um, there is a timeout on the um, express setup if you plug in and you kind of wait a few minutes and you go about it at a slow pace. It may reset and then you're going to have to reboot the switch and do this all over again. So you do want to keep moving on this. So you want to give it a name, give the switch a name. Uh, if you're using a static address, which is pretty common, you go ahead and give it an address. We're going to give it that. We don't have a gateway in this situation. And the admin, the username, we're going to leave it admin. And then we're going to just leave the password at switch. Um, and then any of the, the um, advanced settings, we're not going to go over in this video. And from here, we're going to hit submit. You should get this warning after you get the connection between your switch and your laptop and PC ends to manage the switch, enter the IP address of the browser. So that's just telling you you're probably going to lose connection uh, because the IP address is not what you were using. But as long as we leave this browser open, um, it will take us back to the uh, device manager page. Uh, it will ask us to log in as you just saw there. That's with our new username and password, so admin and switch. And we'll see if this takes us back. If this doesn't and it kicks us out, don't worry about it. Sometimes this happens if the connection between the switch and the computer is reset and this 
IP address is no longer valid for the switch, as we know it's not, sometimes this taking it back to the home page won't work. Okay, it looks like it's going to hang up on us, and that's fine. Like I said, what I usually like to do here, at, um, realistically, is go ahead and close my browser and reset the switch. And then when we come back, we'll put the new IP address that we gave the, and that just lets me know that, that we gave the switch, and that just lets me know that everything has loaded up, the switch has its IP address and good. I don't like to just jump right into the switch from here. I do like to give it a reboot with its new settings. So we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll be right back. Um, something to remember before we try getting online with our switch, while the switch is rebooting, we do have to change our IP address. Um, we were given the IP address by the switch before. Now we have to go back in and give ourselves an address because the switch is not upset, set up anymore to be a DHCP server. So we're just going to give ourselves an address that's on the same network as the switch. Uh, we gave it 5.4, I'll just take 5.3. That way we know we can talk to the switch and get on and configure its settings. Um, and then I want to show you what the switch, when the switch reboots, what to wait for before going ahead and trying this. What you're going to notice is that the Ethernet IP module light is now solid. That means the switch has been configured. Um, it has an IP address, it's happy. The net is still off because there's not really anything talking to it, so it's still blinking, and our setup light is off, so we're not in setup mode anymore. And then what you want to wait for, because this switch, this particular switch, especially the 5400, can take uh, a while to reboot. You want to wait for the port light to be green, not amber, before you try connecting to it. While it's amber, it's still communicating with your laptop to figure out exactly what it's talking to and if it needs to give it an address. Um, so n once, once your switch is in this state, we can go back over to the PC and we can do the rest from there again. So here we are on the home stretch. We're back over on our PC. Um, we know uh, what the new address of the switch should be, so we'll go ahead and type that in. We've given ourselves an IP, so we should be happy, and here we are. Recognize this screen. Again, just proceed through it. Uh, we gave it admin and switch as the username and password, so let's enter those. And then what it's going to do is it's going to log us in and take us to our uh, dashboard for our switch. And that's when we know we're good. So right now we're, we're talking to the switch, we're communicating. Uh, it's still bringing in the information here. Once this all populates, you can see we have the MAC address, the firmware revision, the SIP revision would be the, what you would use in Logix if you're adding this to the I.O. tree. You would put this revision in. Um, and we can just monitor the switch directly from here. Uh, also from here is where we would configure our smart ports, any DHCP, VLANing. Um, if you need to default the switch, you can do that from under the start, restart. Uh, so now we are good. We're, we're ready to go ahead and configure our switch and uh, we'll cover that in other videos. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, thank you for watching and don't forget to check out future and current videos by subscribing to CED Mosbaugh Electric Supply on YouTube or visiting www.mosbaugh.com media. Thanks again.